Today, wind forecasts are generated from vast amounts of data. This data can be used in diverse technical applications. Sailors, on the other hand, must first learn to get an intuitive feel for wind conditions in order to make the best possible use of the wind. But is it also possible to use technology to link data and learning? Für die Selbstoptimierung von Windrädern erfassen wir mit der Sensorik, die in der Nasszelle eingebaut ist, Informationen über das gesamte Windfeld. Aus diesen bestehenden Sensorgrößen lassen sich durch Big Data, Smart Data Verfahren Informationen ableiten und diese können genutzt werden, um Feinjustierung vorzunehmen. Germany is now home to over 23,000 wind turbines with an install capacity of nearly 35 gigawatts. These turbines generate about 50 terawatt hours of power, and the amount of wind generated power is constantly on the rise. That's a good reason to use weather data to generate power more efficiently. But how can wind turbines learn to reposition themselves in order to optimally exploit the wind conditions? Is a self optimizing wind turbine only a fantasy? Not necessarily. Siemens is already conducting research in just this area. Mit den Daten, die hier erfasst werden auf und in der Nasszelle, kriegen wir Informationen über das gesamte Windfeld, das der Rotor überstreicht und sind damit in der Lage, Stellgrößen jeweils situationsangepasst einzustellen. The method works much like the human brain. When young people first start sailing, they only have a very rough idea of where the wind is coming from. To reach their destinations, they have to learn how to make optimal use of a boat's sails and helm. Wind turbines can learn too. Using sensor data that provides details on factors like wind strength, temperature and vibrations, the turbines can optimize their position towards the wind automatically. Just as sailors learn to observe the wind, adjust the sheet rope, trim the sail and tack into the wind, they learn to steer and intuitively process information about the conditions around them. The purpose of using data in this way is to increase power output and reduce wear and tear. For this, neural networks are used. Neuronale Netze sind äh, Modelle, bestehend aus einzelnen miteinander verbundenen Neuronen, ähnlich wie sie Menschen und Tiere im Kopf haben, die es erlauben, nichtlineare Zusammenhänge gut zu modellieren, gut zu erlernen und man kann damit technische Systeme sehr gut modellieren. So technologies can learn to optimize their operations automatically by applying the same processes the human brain uses to learn. <laughs>